Hi everyone, Sat here. I know it's been a long time since I did any videos. I'm going through a little bit of a rough patch at the moment. Things are a little bit stressful. So I haven't had much time to do any. Uh, but I did want to address um, something that a few of you asked for, which is the graphical user interfaces and how to create something that blocks the UI. Um, so it blocks the touches when you're, when you're hitting on the screen and, and you can differentiate between when someone's touching on the screen and when someone is actually um, tapping on a UI and then of course we can expand that out and have it so that we have buttons as the UI and each time you touch a button it changes the prefab maybe that you put down on the floor uh, so we'll, we'll build up to that but for now uh, let's just get started on integrating lean touch which is what we'll need so lean touch is an asset on the unity store you can download it for free there's a lean touch free uh, one and I'll go through this quite quickly. You can, <clears throat> once you download it, you can go to Lean Touch Examples and drag in drag in finger tap. Just ignore this scene that I have unloaded. I'll show you that in a second. But once you drag in finger tap and you press play, you'll see this in front of you. This in the game um, the game screen. And if you tap on these blocks, this UI blocks, nothing happens. So it's blocking the UI. But if you block and tap on the screen, it insta instantiates a prefab. But again, if you tap on the, on the UI block, it blocks it. So that's a really good piece of code that we can build off of for our own code. Um, so that means that you know you can have UI buttons and, and they block the the, uh, the uh, taps. So if we look at this finger tap code uh, or the scene, uh, we have the canvas, which is this, the main camera, which we'll also have. We have the event system, which we also already have, and then we got some of the Lean Touch API uh, scripts. So we have the Lean Touch, which is just for the first kind of taps, touch touches of the screen, and then we have the taps, so uh, which are hair. So when the person actually taps on something, and you'll notice it's it's it says <coughs> Lean Lean Finger Tap, ignore if over graphical user interface. So if some somebody taps on the screen you can be doing now <laughs> uh, it uh, it will ignore it will ignore the uh, the script if it goes over a graphical user interface which is what we want and if it doesn't go over a graphical user interface it will run this on finger tap code which calls this script here which uh, instantiates that explosion uh, prefab at that specific uh, location that was ta that was tapped at, and that's inside this code. We don't need that because we are going to edit up the regular Hello AR example code. So you know, if you go to Hello AR, we have the example scripts. Hopefully, you're familiar with this. If you're not, you might need to go back and have a look at some of the older vi uh, videos that I've done already. If you pull in the Hello AR controller script, um, so if you run in that example, I should say, I, sorry about that, the AR example scene here, I'm, I'm, I'm running this exact scene, I've renamed it though to Lean Touch Scene, and I've also duplicated the Hello AR uh, script, and renamed it GUI Controller, just so I can edit it, it doesn't change the old script. So uh, again, this is the exact same thing as the regular demo scene, but the difference is now what I've done is I've dragged over from the finger tap. I've dragged over the canvas because I, I, I just wanted this for the sake of it. I can get rid of that if I wanted. Uh, but I've got this canvas. I've got uh, the lean touch and lean tap. I don't have the lean spawn because I don't want to create that uh, explosion. So I'm going to unload this scene now. And I'm going to say don't save. Uh, because what I want to do on the lean tap is I want to run the example controller code that we have uh, where we normally would instantiate Andy prefab I'll show you where we normally do that if hopefully some of you remember um, normally we do that in the update method right we have uh, this code here where it looks at the if player has touched the screen and if it hasn't touched the screen in the return and if it has it creates a raycast what I've done now is I've taken that code out right and I've put it actually in the spawn code I've created a new uh, line of uh, new uh, function uh, which is called spawn and it uses the lean finger lean finger uh, API 
And also I've had to add lean finger to the top here so that it would work. Um, and what I'm going to do now, what it does now, is it does the exact same code. You, you'll notice all of this. This is identical to what we have below. The only thing we don't need, actually, is the if touched one, because that was constantly checking checking this if it wasn't touched, because it was in the up, update method. We don't need that now, which is good. It's actually less code. So we have this checking, um, and instead of, this is the thing that I've changed now, if you go back to the original code, instead of saying touch, dot position dot x which is where the person would touch the screen on the import dot touch count instead of using that we change it to because we're using the finger the lean finger code we change it to finger dot screen position dot x so this is exactly the same identical code except I've added this in this code that I've um, commented out was the previous code that was in the the code that um, the um, that explosion, uh, explosion spawning one, um, which actually this is not needed anymore at all. So we've got this running, and if we just run this, it, it works perfectly well. It will find the screen location and it will spawn it at that location. And the difference is this function now will only be spawned if there's a lean tap and it's not on the graphical user interface. Now, um, I hope that helps you. We can In the next tutorial, we can look at changing these, this graphical user interface and having it so that it's actually a button rather than a, a tap and kind of experiment with Lean Touch in general because it's got some really good features to it and really good scenes and, and built-in code which you're more than welcome to in your own time to look at some of these examples. They're really cool and uh, like swiping, for example, and stuff. And um, So I'd recommend taking, that, take a look at, taking a look at that. Um, and we can build off of this, as I said, as I go along. And I've done this a little bit quicker and a little bit faster than usual. I hope you guys don't mind, and I hope uh, maybe you, maybe you prefer this. Maybe you prefer these faster, quicker videos uh, with less me, less time of me watching me code. Let me know if you do in the comments. Um, until then, good luck on your journey coding, and I will see you in the next video. So we've uh, scanned the ground. I'm going to tap on this UI element, and you'll notice nothing's happening. Nothing's happening at all. But if I tap on the screen away from the UI, we get the Andy prefab. So that now means we can block the screen using UI. And uh, in, by having this, it allows us to do future things. Uh, I think I've just lost tracking. <laughs> but um, you get the idea. There you go, it's back again. Um, keeps losing it. There you go, it's back. So this means that we can do... You know more things going forwards like having buttons on the screen and each time you touch the, the button it stops the uh you know stops the screen and the ar core stuff from from taking that input um so differentiation is really going to help going forwards okay so i hope this helped